Hello, Lily. Hello. Hi, Lily. How's it going? Where are you? Here. But I don't see you. Oh. Hey. There we go. Now. Yeah. Oh, Lily, what's wrong? Now your microphone <laughs> is gone. Your microphone. No. Went... There. Now I can see you and I can hear you. Okay, Lily. Can you show me two hands? Yes. And the other one? Okay. <laughs> now we will not have any distractions. <laughs> Lily, how was your Monday today? Did you have a good Monday at school? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Lily, today was the start of a new week. Is there something exciting happening this week? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No tests. No events. No events. No events. What's happening on Friday? <laughs> the big event. The big event. You and they. Yeah, you and they. <clears throat> so I'm excited for you. I'm excited to see you. Oh. And there we have a little visitor. Hello, Coco. Is that his bed? Are you setting up his bed? Her bed? No, my chair. Is she gonna join the class? You know, I wish I could see her. I, she's invisible. She's blocked out. Zoom is blocking her out. All right. Okay, guys. Say again. All right, Lily. Shall we start today? Are you mm, ready to start? Do you yes. have your notebook? Are you sitting in your chair? Yes. Hmm. Say, say yes. I have everything ready to start. Yes, I have everything. Lily, today, if you remember last week, we spoke a little bit about an eclipse. Do you remember what was an eclipse? The moon. The moon is an eclipse? No, that's not right. The it the was something to do with the moon. You are right there. Something about the moon. What about the moon? The moon. Okay, so Lily, do you have a glass of of water next to you? No. Oh. Usually, you yes. say again. There is. Can you say, yes. yes, I do. I have a glass of water next to me. Yes, I do have a glass of water. Okay. Let's take take a, a little sip of water. My water is gone. <laughs> I drink all of them. Yes, and then... Okay, you drank all of them. So, <clears throat> the eclipse is when the moon is going around the earth and it gets to between the sun and the earth. And then people on Earth, they cannot see the sun because the moon is blocking it. Do you remember this or not so much? Mm, yes, I remember. You remember. So, today we're going to look at some photos about what the eclipse looks like during. And we can see some people e even gather, gather all together to witness the eclipse. So, let's have a look here. Here you can see a group of people. Yeah. Lily, what are they doing? What do you think they are doing? They are looking at the eclipse. Okay, the they are looking at the eclipse. How do you know they are looking at the eclipse? 
What if they are just there for a concert? Because they picnic? are wearing the special glasses. They are wearing the special glasses. And they are looking up at the sky with these glasses. So it's a big event to witness a eclipse. Lily, this is what they are looking at. Aang. Aang. Can you describe this to me? There are two circles. There is a yellow circle and a dark shaded circle. Where? So I will draw the outline for you. There is the outline of the circle. Oh. And there is the other outline of the circle. Right, so that's two bodies, two big bodies in space. The first one is, what is this yellow one at the back? Moon. The yellow one? Or eclipse. The yellow one is the sun. And the, this front one is the moon. And Lily, together, because of this situation, this is called the eclipse. Can you, can you explain to me which one is in front and which one is at the back in an eclipse? The sun or the moon? The moon is at the front. Yeah, can you say the moon is in front of the sun? The moon is in front of the sun. Okay, good. So, if I erase everything that I drew and I show you this next photo, can you explain it to me, Ellie? Lily, here we have a full eclipse. Can you explain to me the two different circles that you see? The sun and the moon. Hmm, but which one is which? Which one is the moon? The yellow is the sun. Oh, good. And the black circle is the? Black circle is the moon. Good. Okay, so I think you understand what the eclipse is and how it, how it looks. So, let's go to the next one. The next one is going to be about a artist who is creating art using food. And he's not wasting the food. Lily, what do you think he should do after making art with the food? Food? Say again, food. Picture. So he draw the food. No, I mean he is, that is the real food. He's using real food to make pieces of art. Oh. He shouldn't eat that. He shouldn't eat that. Yes. Why? Because then he's wasting the food if you don't eat. Yeah, it. but that is. That is all, all of them is the eating. Yeah, food? let's have a look all at the them? first, the first art. The first piece of art is this. Lily, you can see the train is moving along a bridge. Now, yeah. I can see some... Cabbage. Okay, cabbage. There's cabbage, there's broccoli. There's different vegetables here. So after he, this artist finishes this art, he gives the, the food, he gives the piece of art to hungry people. He donates it. So let's read here. I want you to read for me. Yeah, but yeah? We don't know if that thing is clean or not. Oh, he cleaned the vegetables. He cleaned them before oh. he used them, yes. Okay, let's read here. Artist creates iconic. Artist, wait, creates iconic landscapes from food that is <laughs> to hungry people. Look. Okay, so he donates it to hungry people. That's a good point that you said. We don't know if it's clean or not. But he cleans. 
the art before, the, the vegetables before. So here we have another one of his arts. Now I was thinking, what is this? So I will tell you my opinion, Lily. But first I want to hear, do you have an opinion about what you think this is? Volcano eruption? That's exactly what I was thinking. But I wasn't sure because there's no black smoke. Usually on a volcano eruption there is black smoke. So, I'm glad you said volcano eruption. This black in front, what do you think is that? Is that the lava? I don't know. Because lava is usually what color? Red. Your lava is usually red. So here it's black with some yellow. It looks like, Lily, what food did he use to make the lava? The black one? Yeah, all over the, the lava, not just the black. There is also some other colors there. A bread? Do you think bread? I think it's maybe bread or cheese. And then at the top, to make the, the orange sky, I would say maybe some carrots. Do you have any other suggestions of the colors? I have no idea how he made that blue. What do you There's think? no blue things. Like what? There's no blue things. There's blueberries, but that's more like purple. Yeah. There's no blue things. Lily, I cannot think of any blue food. I know that you get some blue ice cream. Okay, let's see the last one. This is supposed to be an artwork of the Stonehenge. Lily, do you remember the Stonehenge? We spoke about the Stonehenge a long time ago. It's this in England. This Stonehenge was yes. built long time ago. We don't know how and we don't know why. Now, here he made the Stonehenge. Do you think it resembles the Stonehenge? What does resemble? Resemble means look alike. Do you think it looks alike? Do you think it looks like the Stonehenge? A little bit. A little bit. What food did he use for this artwork? Uh, uh, I don't know. Cheese. Maybe this is cheese. Maybe this is butter. At the bottom, Lily. There is some vegetables there. I can see some. I don't know what's that. Maybe it's onion. Maybe it's spring onion. Yeah, maybe that is. This sky is maybe cream. You see? There we go. That's a good idea. Maybe it's cream. The white is definitely cream. <clears throat> or maybe it could be mayonnaise. <clears throat> cream oh. or mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> you know what? If it was mayonnaise or cream, cream cheese. Lily, do you like cream cheese? Cream? Do I like cream? Cream cheese. Yes, you... I love. Me too. I love cream cheese on toast. How do you like cream cheese? Uh, on the bread or toast, yes. Bread or toast, okay. <clears throat> Lily, here is our last one. A student was awarded a science award for creating something. Let's read and find out what did he create. 14 year old? 14 year old inventor for treating skin cancer win and wins top honor as America's top young scientist. So, Lily, what did he win? Huh? What did he win? He the won. top honor as a America's top young scientist. <coughs> okay, good. And why? What did he invent? He invent a soul for treating skin cancer. Good. Lily, do you know what is skin cancer? 
Mm, no. So cancer is like a disease. It's it's a very bad huh? thing. It's a disease. And skin cancer, it's a disease on your skin. So this young man. It hurts. Say again. It hurts. I think it hurts. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I think it would hurt. Yes. So this boy, he created a soap that will help fight against the skin cancer. To help your skin strong enough to fight against the skin cancer. I think that's a brilliant idea because we use soap every day. Yeah, Lily, do you have your notebook with you? Yes. So yes, I have my notebook. Yes, I have my notebook. Let's open to a new page. Let's write today's date. What is today's date? 20 October 23rd. 23rd, 2023. Let's start with the eclipse. <clears throat> and the first sentence is, Lily, what is an eclipse? Huh? The first what? sentence, the, what have you written in your, in your notebook? What, where are you? Uh, eclipse. Okay, so now the first sentence is to explain what is an eclipse. Eclipse. When the moon and the sun is moves together. Well, not together. When the moon moves in front of the sun. When it blocks the sun. When the moon blocks the sun. Please, when you finish writing, please read. When the moon moves in front of the sun. Now we want to warn. We want to say don't do what? Don't look at the sun. No, I mean eclipse. Good, but I'm going to add the word directly. Directly means okay. nothing in between. So don't look directly at the eclipse. And then, okay, let's wait for you to finish. Don't look directly at the... <laughs> Eclipse. Okay, and then if we do want to look at the eclipse, how do we do it? You have to have a special sunglasses. Okay, so we use special glasses to watch the eclipse and protect your eyes. Okay, Lily, did you get it down? Yes. There is these glasses. Have you seen them before? 
Never seen them. Oh, these are the solar glasses. Use them and then throw them away. Why? Because they you don't use them often. You only use them to look at the eclipse, which only happens once every ten years. It's your butt. It's your butt. That is, if we use one time and drawing out. Well, you, you you can keep them if you want. You can keep them as a memory, but you will not use them again. Why? Because the eclipse doesn't happen often. The eclipse happens very no, rarely. Can, we can go one more time. What do you mean go one more? Go where? We can see one more time. But it will be maybe 10 years later. We can see. Yeah, that's true. But we can buy new glasses after 10 years. Okay. So it's up to you. You would you keep your glasses for the next time? Maybe. Yes. All right. So, let's go back here and we're going to go to our food artist. Huh? Food art is the second paragraph so let's continue with what did we see an artist what was he what was he doing and what was he using to do it was using the food to make the to make art Using food to make art. Okay, don't forget to read it when you finish writing. An artist was using food to make art. And then the nice thing, after he finished, what did he do with the art? He gave to hungry people. After finishing, let's write, after completing the art, the artist donated, let's write donate artist, donated his art to the hungry. Okay, Lily, please read when you finish. Lily, is everything okay? Yes. Can you read for me? After completing the art, the artist donated his art to the Hungary. Okay, and then the science award. Can you tell me what did the boy win? The top young scientist. The boy won top young science and the reason was how did he win it? By the making the soap. He made a soap which helps fight skin cancer. 
He made a soap which helps fight skin cancer. He made a soap which helps fight skin cancer. Alright, Lily. You wrote down nicely, you listened nicely, so let's let's quickly let's try something. Let's close our notebook. Yes. Close the notebook. And let's try a quick review session. The first one was about the eclipse. Tell me something about the eclipse. What did we see? Eclipse. It is when the moon moves where? In front, in front of, the, of the sun. In front of the sun. Good. Should we look directly at the sun? No. Why? Mm, because we can damage our eye. We can damage our eyes. We can damage our eye. Not just one eye, both eyes. Eyes. We can damage our eyes. Eyes. Okay, so we need to wear special glasses. Alright, Lily. Are you hungry from looking at that food art? Yes. So yes, I'm hungry from looking at the food art. Yes, I am hungry. Looking at the food art. Are you going to go and eat something now? Mm. Chicken? Or just chicken? Yes. You're going to eat chicken. chicken. You will have a chicken late night snack. No. What are you going to eat? What am I going to eat? That's a good question. I need to go to the store and find something to eat. What? Give me some ideas. It's a... Uh, you gonna make? Maybe not make. I will not make in my kitchen. I will, I will order something. Do you know why I like to order something, Lily? Because it's faster and then I don't need to wash. I don't need to clean the dishes. Do you think that's a good idea? Lily, you disappeared. Where did you go? I'm here. Okay. Lily, have a wonderful evening and I will see you on Friday. I'll see you after UN okay. Day. Good luck for UN Day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.